Welcome everyone to our latest leaders conversation. Uh, these have proved to be very popular both here in New Zealand and internationally. And it's a really good opportunity to engage with our corporate associate members and learn and share their knowledge and insights with our broader membership body. Today, I have the pleasure of welcoming Keith McLaughlin. Keith is the co-founder and MD of Centrix, our newest corporate associate member, and we're delighted to have them on board. Keith is a highly experienced senior leader and director. He started Centrix with a vision of offering New Zealand businesses a superior and cost-effective um, credit offering. Previously, as the founder and managing director of Bay Corp, Keith saw an opportunity in the market to help businesses prevent and reduce the risk of taking on customers who are unlikely to be able to pay their bills on time through the Centrix product offering. So welcome, Keith. Thank you very much, Ros. Pleasure to be here. So Keith, tell us a bit about Centrix. Certainly, Centrix was started, as you say, about 13 years ago. Um, we responded to a request by some of the credit providers in the New Zealand marketplace for a new and more competitively priced offering in the market. Um, New Zealand credit reporting was dominated by two large players who really operated in a duopoly type environment. And credit providers were looking for somebody to come in to challenge that and to perhaps offer a, a better, cheaper, and uh, more New Zealand-centric offering to the market. Well, that's great. And that's interesting. We mentioned there about duopolies. Um, we know that that's uh, not a, <laughs> people are keen to encourage competition right now. Um, so in terms of uh, a credit bureau, tell us a bit more about what that means. Well, a credit reporting bureau is a, 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 a bringing together of credit information for both consumers and for businesses where anybody who's either granting a loan or giving credit should come to determine what the predictability of that customer is going to be to repay the account. So a credit bureau really consolidates credit information, um, third party data, and makes that available at a very economical rate to credit providers and lenders to assess risk before they enter into a transaction. That's, that's really helpful to set the scene. And obviously from a cooperative perspective, it's really important to ensure that they've got, they're working with the right organisations. So in terms of the information that you can get from yourselves, what, what does that look like? Well, you break it into probably three categories. So we have what we call our consumer credit reporting, um, which about four years ago was changed to enable us to put comprehensive credit reporting as part of that package. So if somebody comes to us and they want to give credit or a loan to a consumer or an individual, then we will go through whether there's credit history, whether they pay their accounts on time, whether there's any judgments, we will positively identify them, we'll use driver's license for identification, we will say whether they've been bankrupt and whether they have historically paid their accounts on time. And then we will give a risk score, which is the likelihood of that person defaulting on that credit facility over the next 12 months. So that really gives a lender to an individual a very good picture as to the caliber of the person that they're dealing with and it confirms their identity on the way through. So very important from that point of view for consumer transactions. With a business or a company, again, we go through and we identify the company and the correct um, details of that company, registered office, shareholders, directors, all that information that you would need to have before entering into a relationship to identify that you are dealing with the correct entity. We then go through and confirm once again what their payment profile is like. In other words, do they pay their accounts on time? Are they traditionally 20 days overdue, 30 days overdue? Um, have they had any defaults which have gone 90 days or beyond? Um, are there any petitions, notices filed against the company? Um, so it really gives you a picture. And again, we will apply a score to that company which will give an indication as to their likelihood of paying that account on time going forward. So it's very important from that point of view to understand again that you're dealing with the right company and that you have a reasonable chance of being paid on time. The third part of our business at the moment really revolves around what we call data analytics. And that's where we actually take all that information and we can have a look at your portfolio. So if, for example, you are coming to the end of the financial year, you've got all these accounts on your uh, customer database, you want to know how much you should provide for going forward or what the likelihood of those 
pain on time is concerned, you can run the entire portfolio through Centrix and we will come back and say, well, based on that, we think your risk rating might be this, this, and this. And that's something you can then take to your auditors as part of your end of year accounts. So it's really applying analytics over all the data. Now, the reason people should do credit reports is because even though somebody may ultimately pay your account, so if you're a business lending to another business, firstly, you want to know that they're going to pay you, but you also want to know that they're going to pay you on due date. Otherwise, you tend to be used as a, as a free banking service. And we all understand that cash flow is really important uh, for all businesses. And if somebody is sitting on your invoices and not paying them, then that can create problems further down the track. Oh, that's great. And I guess um, when I hear you talking, I'm thinking in a cooperative environment, there's twofold of that in terms of not only the suppliers that you're working with or the um, consumers, but also your members in terms of whether those members are the individuals or groups that you actually want to be working with, um, you know, so and to ensure that you're getting the right brand profile. So you mentioned about the credit report. What does that actually look like? The credit report um, effectively comes out and it will confirm the identity details. So if we're talking about an individual, it will confirm the identity details. It will give a very, very brief summary of the position of that, that consumer and it will give a score. And then below that, it will list information that we have received. For example, all the banks, um, all the major finance companies um, all upload data to us every month saying whether their customers are on paying currently or whether two days, four days, 10 days behind. So all that information gets listed out on the credit report. And then we have a summary on that. We'll also show where they've applied for credit in the past, um, where they have, um, whether they've had any defaults, whether they've been behind, whether they've had any bankruptcies. So if it's a total picture of a person's financial uh, well-being, both historically, but also predicting into the future. So I just mentioned before about cooperative perspective. So why should our um, members check credit reports? What's your view on that? Well, look, any business needs sales, and that's that's always the focus of the company. You know, we need to build up our sales. We need to build up our revenue. That is of little value if you're not getting paid. So I think it's all about knowing your customer, knowing who you're dealing with, knowing what their propensity to pay on time is before you enter into that transaction. Otherwise, you could be doing a lot of work or supplying a lot of material and either not being paid or being paid very late, which is also quite damaging to a business. So it's all about that complete sales cycle. Yes, you need to get the sales, but you need to make sure that the customers to whom, you, to whom you're dealing are actually going to pay you and pay you on time. Well, that's great. And I, I guess, um, I mean, you may have already covered this off, but just to be um, explicit about it. So outside of the organisation, who uses those credit reports and why? Well, credit reports are used by a, effectively anybody giving credit or giving loans but it's also important that if you're in business that you actually have a look at your own credit report uh, both as a consumer but also your business credit report so that you know that anybody who's going to be looking at your company is looking at accurate information that you understand what they're seeing that if there is an issue on there you can front foot that and address it so I think it's important for every person and for every business to come in and have a look at their own credit report now, for a consumer, that is a free service, uh, but for a business, there is a very small charge. But I think you need to know what's on your own credit report or your own company's credit report before you start transacting. And in terms of accessing those credit reports, how easy are they to access? Very easy. Um, it's an online service. Um, for a company, you can pay by a credit card. Uh, so you simply go on, sign up, ask for the credit report and if it's a billable credit report then there'll be a credit card facility to pay for it so it's immediate it's instant and for a consumer there's no fee to pay to look at your own credit report and I think the fees are, are, are minimal uh, relative to the risk that you could be facing so we're looking for a consumer uh, around about 10 to 15 dollars and for a business around about 45 to 60 dollars so it's not expensive um, and you can become a subscriber and a regular user, and of course, volume discounts then apply. 
Uh, that, well, that's really helpful. And um, just before we wrap things up, Keith, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Just that we're really part, pleased to be part of the cooperative. Um, we're looking forward to working with the members, and I'm sure that there are some values that we can bring to the organisation and to the members that will help them run their businesses more efficiently and effectively going forward. It's, um, that sounds fantastic. And um, hey, thanks so much for your time today. And if there's any one of our members out there that'd like to get further information about Centrix, um, please don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll connect you up. Thanks again. Kia kaha.